are you doing? Just put up next week's schedule. Well, make sure to schedule me a 20 minute break to kick your ass. <laughs> you invited Andrea to Christmas? Yeah, what's the big deal? She's my friend. Yeah? Well, she's also my sack buddy, and I don't want you screwing it up. Sack buddy? What, did hook up hoe make her feel too special? <laughs> no, but inviting her to spend a major fake holiday with my family will. Oh, come on. What, she's gonna think you wanna marry her because she has a piece of turkey with mom and dad? Don't you know how it works with a girl? <laughs> she gets in tight with your family. Next thing you know, she makes you go to the movies, go out for drinks with her co-workers, have sex sober. <laughs> Good news, boys. Your mother invited me to Christmas on Saturday. I guess I gotta go dig up the old Santa suit and put it on. He also knows that. Mom? Oh, hi, I was just picking up some stuff for Christmas dinner. You're always out of buttermilk. I don't know why I shop here. So Dad told us you invited him to Christmas. I don't get it. Last week, you gave the FBI an anonymous tip and had him put on a no-fly list. I found the present your father was gonna give me last Christmas. What was that, the gift of clinical depression? <laughs> no, that he already gave me. It's a diamond tennis bracelet. Mom, he probably only bought that because he was already cheating with Shelly and he felt guilty. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Every year, I would give him thousands Thousands of hints of what I wanted, and every year all I got were those crappy gloves. <laughs> but after 33 years, he finally listened. Well, good for you, Mom. You're really making progress. I think. Now I just have to figure out what to get him. I know. I'll take the grappling hooks and the map of the White House out of his trunk. <laughs> hey, uh, Mom. Listen, uh, my ex is coming to town this Saturday and wants to meet me for a drink. Ooh, a drink. Yeah, don't do that. So, I was wondering if you could push the festivities back a day. You know, Roger's only in town a few hours, and I'm really looking forward to seeing him. Well, bring him to dinner. I'm dying to meet him. Oh, no, that, that's, a, that's a terrible idea. I mean, first off, Dad and Jody don't know I'm gay. I can keep a secret. Look, Mom, no offense, but I don't want to ruin my one night with Roger by bringing him the fake Christmas with the Nutty Nutball family. <laughs> Well, you've got to see him. Well, you know, maybe I, I don't have to come to Christmas. No, you don't. But just remember, Santa keeps a list of all your naughty secrets, and sometimes he slips up and goes public. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Merry Christmas! Got it. Oh, gosh, now that we took the picture, can we at least put out the fire? We're roasting chestnuts. Yeah, well, I think my chestnuts are done. <laughs> Excuse me for a minute. What are you staring at, Wang? We don't complain when you celebrate New Year's on the wrong day. <laughs> hey, Jody, you want to give me a hand with the presents? I hope none of those are for me, because I got you zilch. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're safe. <laughs> What's his deal? He's been acting weird all day. Oh, you're gonna love this. My moron brother is worried that you think things are getting serious because you're here for the holidays. Oh. <laughs> He's a dead man. <laughs> what are you doing? Mistletoe. I had to kiss you. But there's no mistletoe. There is in my heart. <laughs> I'll get it. Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, that's right. You're coming. <laughs> oh, I thought I heard you come in. Merry Christmas, Billy. I made you some eggnog just the way you like it. Light on the nutmeg, heavy on the bourbon. No, well, I'm not really thirsty now. Oh, for God's sakes. It's not poisoned. <laughs> in that case, how dry I am. Now we can die together. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, that's Roger. You know, lots of people get engaged at Christmas. <laughs> Man, it's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Hey, let's get this over with. Okay. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry. For what? Oh, there'll be something. 
<laughs> Mom? Dad, this is my friend Roger. Hello, Roger. I'm in on it. Thank you for inviting me, Mrs. Crum. Mr. Crum? Mitch says that uh, you and he are poker buddies. That's right. I used to play all the time, mostly stud and draw. I guess you and Mitch are playing a lot of hold'em. More than you know. Okay, let's get this Christmas dinner rolling. <laughs> so, how many Christmases did your family celebrate this year? Just the one. Yeah, I always felt sorry for the kids with the sane parents. <laughs> <laughs> See, you met my brother. You know, if you keep laughing, you'll only encourage him. Dad said he'd take a picture of us by the tree. Wait, wait, well, why do we need a picture? And why are you calling him Dad? I don't call him Dad. Okay, come on. Sorry I left you alone with him. No, I, I can't believe how different you two guys are. He's, he's funny. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, no, but you're funny, too. I mean, he's just, you know, naturally funny. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Mitch. Come over here a minute. Where did this gift come from? Oh, Mom found it in the nightstand. She's very excited, by the way. Wow, she really is getting healthy. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's one thing to invite me over to the house, but to get real excited about a gift for Shelly. Whoa. The bracelets for Shelly? <laughs> yeah, I forgot where I put it. You know, I left, your mother tried to kill me, I had a lot on my plate. <laughs> okay, Mom thinks the bracelet's for her, you have to give it to her. Oh, she'll be fine. I got her a great gift. Gloves? <laughs> How'd you know they were gloves? Dad? She hates the gloves. You have to give her that tennis bracelet. Mitch, this cost me a bundle. You walked out on her for another woman after 33 years. I think she deserves it. Okay. Thank you. I can't believe that she lied to me all these years about the gloves. Suddenly, I feel like we both destroyed the relationship. <laughs> uh, Which is why, after that, <laughs> we changed the dog's name from Myrtle to Fluffy. <laughs> You know, uh, you know I, I was just thinking about uh, the time I was in the Emperor's New Clothes in sixth grade. Boring! <laughs> okay, okay, I think it's time we open presents. Oh. Let's go, guys. Oh. Oh, Roger, I can't believe you laughed at that stupid fluffy story. Oh. He was funny. He's not the funny one, I'm the funny one. Hey, you sound like the whiny one. <laughs> I'm sorry. liked your story, by the way. You're funny. I hope our kids are funny. What do you hope our kids get from me? I hope that they're... Oh, man. I can't breathe. I think my windpipe's closing up. Uh, relax, you idiot. I've been screwing with you. But do you really think the magic of Christmas in April was gonna make me want to get all serious? <laughs> Really? Oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> so you want to do it tonight? Look, Jody, I like that you're my sack buddy, but if you're worried about something, just talk to me. Well, I'm worried that we're not going to do it tonight. <laughs> OK, well, I, I guess we should start with this one, just to get the ball rolling. That one's from me. Oh, Billy, you didn't have to get me a gift. Oh, Billy. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. What the hell? <laughs> Something wrong, Mom? You are my life. I love you, Shelly. <laughs> I forgot about the free engraving. Doing something even 